I'm back. This time we're going to have a look at uh, surfacing this three port pipe connector and we're going to use a couple of new tools that uh, we haven't used before. So let's get started. Now I have these three cylinders that are not aligned to each other. They're completely arbitrary in positions and they're different sizes as well. So surfacing is probably the best way of making this connector. We're going to start with making these solids into surfaces and then splitting those surfaces into four pieces. To start, we are going to use a discretize tool for that. We need to select an edge and click the tool. Repeat that for all outside edges, like so. Then select all three new features. This is the number of vertices it will create on the edge. So we're going to put in four. Right. Now we're going to use a tool that will split the surface into different segments based on the vertices that we just created. For that, we're going to use the Segment Surface tool. Select the surface, click Segment. Select the surface, click Segment. Select the surface and click Segment. Now that we have these surfaces, we can hide the solid bodies. Now we're going to use the discretized edges to split these surfaces. For that, select all three surfaces, choose option to custom, and now we can provide a guide that will split the surfaces. For that, select each of the surfaces, click on the knots you provider, and find its discretized edge. First one, Repeat that for the rest of the surfaces. Good, now we have our surfaces that are split into four pieces. Now, let's get the easiest step out of the way. And the easiest step is the blend surface tool. Let's select edge one, surface one, Edge 2, Surface 2, click Blend. For this surface, I would suggest using G4 Continuity for that extra smooth bend. Let's repeat that a few more times. Edge 1, Face 1, Edge 2, Face 2, and Blend. Edge 1, Face 1, Edge 2, Phase 2, Blend. Let's select these and put in 4 for both of them. We can quickly inspect the surfaces by using the Zebra tool. Okay. Looks good already. Brilliant. Okay, next step. The next step is to use the surface workbench and use the fill boundary tool. Let's start the tool and start selecting edges in sequence. Edge and edge. Good. Now let's make them smooth. To change the smoothness, just double click on the uh, edge, select the phase that is adjacent to the edge, and select the continuity. That's our face. Let's repeat that for the front. Two, one, two, three, four. Okay. 
done. We have our connector surface ready. Let's inspect our shell. It looks nice and smooth. Excellent. You might ask why we chose G1 surface continuity. And the answer is that G1 is perfectly fine for this situation as we surrounded our big face with three G4 surfaces. So those surfaces act like a guide for our uh, new big patch. Therefore, simple tangency works well. Okay, now let's turn the surface into a solid. Let's go to the surface workbench and use the same boundary fill tool. Start selecting edges in sequence. That's one filled. Okay. That's the second one filled. And the third one. Okay, this looks like a solid. But to turn it into an actual solid, we're going to use the parametric solid tool. Let's select all our surfaces and click on the tool. And there we have it. That's our solid. We can check the results in the property view where it says shape status and it says solid. Let's say we selected all our surfaces but accidentally missed the bottom part. And if we use the parametric solid tool, it's going to give us a shell instead of a watertight solid. Now that we have our solid object, we can use it in part design workbench. Simply create a new body, select this solid we created and choose the sub-object shape binder. Okay, and just perform a Boolean operation to fill that binder in. Okay, now we can hide our binder, our solid, and we're left with the solid body in the part design workbench. And now we can perform a thickness operation. Let's select our pipe ends. Use the thickness tool. Make the thickness inside. Here's our preview. That's perfect. Okay. Now let's try something really dumb. Let's check whether our object is still a parametric model. To do that, let's get back to our initial three cylinders. Open one of these sketches. Let's try this one. Let's align the view so we can see what's going on. Let's open that sketch and just move this. Close and it'll take a while. And we have it. It worked. We still have our connector and our perfectly smooth surface. Okay, that's that for today. Enjoy FreeCAD. Don't forget to support the developers and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.